So, let's examine the woman, I guess? Or maybe <laughs> Irwin? I don't know! I don't know any of these people! Yeah, totally, like, totally, let's go for the- let's go for the women's because I'm a dude. Well, they're ineligible. <laughs> yeah, you can, but apparently that will be... Scandalous? Yeah. Oh no. Like, oh no, I'm so scandalous. Will they think that we are lesbians then? I am totally lesbians with everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Long Live the Queen. So in the last episode, we made it here to the ball and I became a lesbian with everyone. <laughs> As a queen, few would dare com comment about your choice of companions, but until you have provided an heir to the throne, there's great pressure on you to make an appropriate match. That doesn't mean you have to give in. It might be entertaining to see the reactions of Julianus, Duchess of Ursul, if he asked to dance with you. Would she be flustered for once? Bryn, the Duchess of Hellas, is an attractive unmarried woman. What might people think seeing the two of you together? According to rumor, she is inclined in that direction, but what does she think of you? The most important woman present after yourself is Aris, Duchess of Lila. She's married elderly, a woman and grandmother many times over, but might be flattered by acknowledgement of her status. Or if you truly wanted to set the core on, on its ear, you could demand your first dance with a mere servant, a maid like Alice. The assembled nobles would be outraged. Let's go with Aris. Yes, she seems I nice. Think, yes, I wanted to go for her too. You approach the grand, grand old lady, uncomfortably aware that in some eyes she may look more like a queen than you do. The room holds its breath as you stand before her, waiting for a reaction. Then, with dignity, she extends her hand to you. Dancing with a real partner feels quite different from dancing with your father. You knew him, knew his steps like a part of you. Not every move was a mystery. Now every move. Of course, you're an excellent dancer and you relish the chance to show off your hard-earned skills. A ballroom dance isn't nearly as much of a showcase as a stage performance, but you can easily impress the guests with your techniques and style. Between the dances, there's time for guests to mingle, chat, and sample tiny bites of exquisite food. You interact comfortably with your peers, leading a wise word in every ear. You notice that Fabian, the elderly Earl of Titan, is not looking entirely well. Could this have something to do with the omen that Al brought you death of dis and destruction? Or whatever? Death and disruption. Okay. Fabian is the father of and regent for Adair, the young lord of Eleth. The boy is only twelve, years too young to assume his full title. Almost all of Adair's near-blood relatives have died in the past 30 years. His mother, Kayla, died in childhood with her mother and sisters suspected to have been victims of agents from Sedna. If Fabian dies before Adair's age, there would be a succession crisis in Elith. Let's talk to him. Lord Fabian, might I have a word with you? Oh, right. Right. Sorry. I forgot. That was actually my fault. Might I have a word with you? I am concerned by the future of your son, Adair. Adair? Adair. Adair. Adair, my mother's death has made it clear to me that we are all mortal and solid plans need to be in place. You worry for a moment about how this old man will take such a subject, but he only sighs and nods. Some of my family would claim that I've already lived forever and would, could continue to do so, but the mornings do grow colder. I hope to see Adair become a man, but I know that may not happen. I know there's no blood of him. I know she's no blood of his, but I say leave the boy with the wrists and her broad, broad and Lila. Brute, brute. That's how you say that. Her youngest, her youngest three are near enough to Adair's siblings. Adele especially. She dotes on him. My other children are too old. Adair's never knowing them, and his grandfather. Well, he and I would never sell it. Should we have known better? And it's too late now. Still, I would never trust him with Kayla's sons. He pats your hand. I want to check one thing. Okay. Um. Lila. So it was Lila that he wants his son to go to. Good little girl, you are th uh, for thinking of me. What will what will come? Wait. What will come will come. Adair comes running up to his father. Dad, I got I got punch on my shoes. You leave them to deal with that problem. During a lull of music, Banyan, the Duke of Marie, taps an elegant fingernail against a wine glass, letting the clear note ring out through the room. If I might have your attention, I believe we should offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. As the gala continues, you take the opportunity to observe the nobles as you that you rarely see. Yeah. There's Gwendolyn, for instance, the young lady of Sudbury, only months older than you and due to finally inherit control of her duchy soon. Or Adele. Adele? 
I feel like there's a hello from the other I know, side. Right? Yeah. It's, the youngest it's, daughter of the Duchess of Light One, a fierce sportswoman. She has a few years ahead of you at school and absolute terror of the ball fields. No Bryony. She said that her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Her parents are here, dancing together. The Duke Consort clutching his Duchess possessively tight. Strange that there's no sign of your cousins, though. Shouldn't they be here? Your aunt and uncle are, are here, of course. It'd be scandalous if they hadn't come, Merva being so close by. Merva, that's where the assassin came from. Your uncle Laurent is next in line to the throne. If you die, he'll be king, but he's your uncle. Would he really have tried to kill you? Accusing him in public would damage his honor. It would make the two of you, of you enemies, if you weren't already. No. Let's go shut him out. Yeah. It's probably best to make a scene, not to make a scene at the moment. You'll just have to keep an eye on him and watch your back. There's something itching at your senses, something familiar. Then it hits you. Aunt Lucille is a lumen. Ooh. Oh my. Aunt Lucille, up may up I speak up with up you? Up oh, up. fine. I keep forgetting. Aunt <laughs> <laughs> Lucille, I cannot pay it. May I speak with you privately? Of course, dear. You withdraw to a small side room. I can sense your powers, you and Lumen. What? I am, too. That's how I know. Can you sense that? No, no, I can't. She looks down, shaking her head. I... I do have a Lumen crystal. I found it years ago. It called to me, but I don't know anything about magic. I can make the crystal appear and disappear, and I can block out sand with it. That's all. I don't think that's true at all. There are traces of old magic on her, too faint to make sense of, but strong. Why keep it hidden? It's not illegal to be a lumen. Magic is dangerous. Everyone knows that. People might think I was an evil witch. They wouldn't trust me. Trust? Should I trust her? What other secrets has she been keeping? Does she know anything about it? Listen? Look at how much trouble the Duchess of Ursula has. Please, your highness, don't tell anyone. Phone call. Sorry, my sister was calling me. She had some important news for me. Okay. Okay. Look how much trouble the Duchess of Ursula has. Please, your highness, don't tell anyone. Uh-huh. Uh, -huh. uh let's offer her a court position, right? Yeah. Sure. What... What? Sorry. I think I should tell everyone that you are my new Lumen Minister. What? what? <laughs> Lumen's have power and every train with me, you become even stronger. I want that strange here to defend the capital. I'll be right back, my uh. Doggy. Little puppies, yeah. Little doggies. You have a statue that. Status and recognition, and no one will dare to call you a witch. What do you say? I accept. Good! I'm so happy. It's nice to be able to enjoy the time with friends and family, isn't it? Okay. Let's lower my anger more. Yes. Fuck anger. Okay. This is so happy. Um, let's see. What should we strengthen? Ooh, let's see. Maybe we can do wield. Yeah, we could do wield magic. We could also do naval strategy. That sound good? Yes, I think that sounds good. Military naval strategy. Wait, wait. What? You could resist magic. You screwed well, up. It's a mistake. It's a mistake I made. Yes, you did. I thought it was on wield magic. I don't the know why. The other one was, but the, that one not. Oh, oh, I changed. Oh, okay. Yes. You learn about the use of ships and transporting ground soldiers between locations. You study the cost, time, and materials required to construct new ships. What that happened? You wander downstairs to visit your father and talk about the latest events in the domain. You're moving with such enthusiasm that you don't realize your father isn't alone until it's too late to avoid him and his companion. You're too, you're too kind, Jocelyn. Countess Siren, not a member of your circles. She's a bit more than a decade your senior. Far too old to ever have been your friend, and yet not at all old as noble women go. She has two minor titles, no husband near father's arm in her grasp. 
You take a deep breath. Well then. Let's greet her politely yeah. because I'm a kind person. Yeah. You manage to smile at her in what you hope is a welcoming manner. Good day to you, Countess. Your Highness, good day to you as well. I was just speaking with your father. Well, it isn't important. Please allow me to excuse myself. I don't wish to be in the way. She bows to you and exits. Once she's gone, you raise an eyebrow at your father. Don't give me that look, young lady. She's a nice woman, nothing more. She wants something more. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not going to happen anytime soon. You should be careful how you deal with people like Siren. You need the goodwill of your nobles as well as your commoners. Have you had any luck in finding out who was behind the attempt on your life? I think the assistant passed it to a Merva, but there is no proof of who hired him. Nothing is nothing in this note gives any more clue to their identity. Intentity. It's dead Identity. End. Identity. Nailed it. It's a dead end. Unless unless they strike again. Then we must be prepared for future future attempts. As queen, you must be aware of everything around you. Is that what I have agents for? Yes, but you must give them direction. What is your greatest concern? Everything. Uh, okay. Commoner uprising is not a concern. We built hospitals, we built a printing press. Yeah. They're fine. They're Foreign fine. threats is a bit of a concern, but currently we're fine. Yes. Assassins are a major concern, yes. but we can kill any assassin who tries. Yes. And noble plots may also be a problem, but so I have a feeling like we'll be fine. Let's so what do you think? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do that. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by its toe. If it hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. My mom me told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it for the rest <laughs> of my life. That's the only one that isn't! <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? We never do the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That didn't work. You <laughs> suck. <laughs> you were doing it. <laughs> like it's in a mini mini mode, okay. that's the way I wanna go. So I guess the one that I got is the noble thingy. Threats. Yes. Let's go with the Kay. noble one. Because nobles All suck. Right. I need to know what the other nobles are up to and whether anyone is planning behind my back. Because I feel it's there. as you wish. Okay. Uh, let's become a little bit lonelier. Unless there's something else I can... No, okay. As you... A walk in the fresh air helps you forget the burdens in your shoulders. I love fresh air. Okay. Now, wield magic is yes. the other one. Let's do it right this time. Um, and naval strategy, right? Yeah. By concentrating, you can create a wave of discontent which panics, confuses, and enrages other people around you. You learn to shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. You learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning those caught within and blinding others who look at it. That looks really fun. You study blockades, both setting them and breaking them. You study the effect of cannons against coastal installations such as docks and seaside villages. Yeah. It is the time of the year to decide any necessary adjustments to the royal budget. The majority of the money we receive is already spoken for, but there's some room for discretion. Based on the records and notes for of current expenditures, if you're maintaining the current rate of tax, you will still have 7,920 uh, gold lassi and 39 silver lassi available for a special project. You can't imagine any reason that you need to spend so much you could afford to lower taxes. 4,000 lassi would be enough to cover any military surprises for the rest of the year. Any little trade disruption shouldn't uh, need more than a few hundred lassi to sort out, at least temporarily. Let's lower. I think we have enough... Oh, sorry. I think we have enough money. Let's lower the taxes a little. As you wish. Yeah. Damn, yeah, we're, we're perfectly good. fine because uh, we're the best around and nothing's ever going to yeah. keep us down. So let's get a little bit more lonely. Lonely. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't even know. Like you have no idea how I do. 
So, I'm gonna do the same one as last time because uh, we're about to finish these two. Yeah. You learn how to make use of images to wield your other powers at a great distance. Woo! Be so cool. You study the difficulty of a sneak attack at sea and ways that can be achieved. Woo! Be so good. You were requested to stand in judgment. A man has been convicted of the murder by strangling of his wife. He does not deny the act, but requests a pardon that he might be set free. If you have you killed your wife, why do you think I'm gonna set you free? Save me, your majesty! With my fall, demons made me do it! Everyone knows the power of magical beasties! They used me, they twisted my finger into chains! My wife found me screaming, she tried to shake me, the chains wrapped around her! I need the priestess to bless me and make me clean again! Demon? This man is a lumen. Where did he get crystal? Uh, if it was demon magic that killed your wife, not your own magic? So you know what I am! He throws out his hands and his fingertips elongates into floating strings of gold. DIE! Gold chains slash at you like whips. Without so much warning, of course. With so much warning, of course, it's easy for you to resist. His attacks bounce harmlessly off your shields, the chains flying back in the direction from which they came, where they find an easier target. Before your eyes, the renegade woman is choked to death by his own powers. After a moment, an orange crystal materializes next to his body. I guess I have to take that for safety. Cause I'm yep. happy. So yeah, I could, I need to lower my anger. Yeah. So uh, let's let's be happy. Yeah. Check out some frustrations by hunting again. I'm a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sense magic and internal affairs. The yeah. final two. Yeah. Uh, uh, internal affairs. There we go. Yeah. Da, 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 da. You learn to detect lingering traces of strong magic from the past, even when the spell is long since completed. Good. After the last Duke of Meads w went into seclusion, he hired a stream of attractive young servants who had to be frequently replaced after injuries and accidents. He eventually died by falling from a high tower window, which his family covered up. But was it suicide they were hiding, or murder? No, everything. My lady, there's a letter for you. Who sent this? Did this sign it? It appears to be a poem describing you in a manner that's entirely inappropriate for a queen. I, I... what? Wait a What? Um. <laughs> that's so funny. I totally understand the joke. <laughs> Do you know what this is about? I actually don't remember what it's about. Oh, okay. Holy, I said too many hentai. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Just then... yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I forgot to read it. Just then, an incredibly unlucky breeze swirls around the windows of your tower bedroom, tugging the paper out of your hands and off into the sky. You stick your head out the window to discover the poem caught and fluttering on the roof nearby. You can almost reach it. Let's climb out and grab it. You take a moment to look at where you'll be climbing in order to reach your target. Easy peasy, you've been much you've been over much harder walls than that. Carefully keeping three points in contact with strong support, you clamber up and grab the offending document, returning safely to your room. It's nice to know you can rely on your skills at times like these. So cool. Yep, I'm just the best. Yeah. Um Ooh, that's just Ursul. If you attack an enemy in Lumen, and you win, and they live behind the crystal, is it possible to combine the crystal with mine to make it stronger? Each Lumen can hold only one crystal. The only way to combine their magics is if a living wielder chooses to join his power to another. Oh. So I should destroy all the crystals to stop anyone from using them against me? That is the traditional policy, but it is a lie. Lumen crystals cannot be destroyed. Ruler rulers claim otherwise discourage thieves from seeking dangerous treasures. What am I supposed to do with the crystal then? Guard it, Hi or hide it, or give it to the other, to, into other hands to wield. But if the last holder of the crystal was an enemy, the resonance of the crystal will work against you. It will be attuned to a personality as foolish or violent or scheming as the woman you defeated. So anyone take the crystal will probably become a new enemy. That's useless. 
A weak-willed candidate might be acceptable to the crystal and yet still controllable. You could then steer that woman away from dangerous paths, making an ally and changing the crystal's resonance. It is, however, a dangerous endeavor and one that requires your complete attention. Not really a project I can't work on while I'm so busy studying for my coronation. Wait, in the past, all dukes and dukeness of no were lumen. That means all those crystals must be out there somewhere. Yeah, we have yep. done something. Yep. So, uh, through completely legit means, we're maxed out. Yes. We did so good. Yeah, I'm yeah. the best around and nothing's You're ever going to get me down. Yes. Oh, look how cute. Um... They look cute and everything. So we're supposed to have more, but I, for some reason, didn't get them despite being totally legitimate. Yeah, I... <laughs> So, understand. between, I think right now I'm gonna real quick manage to get those somehow. I don't know how, I'll just magically get them, so I'll be right back, guys. Okay, dress up time. So, here's the outfit you start with. For being the best at royal demeanor, you get to be a princess or She queen has no boobs. Whatever. So, if you like lolis. She, she's 15. <laughs> Not all 15 year olds have a lot of boobs. <laughs> There's, uh, if, if you're really good at conversation, then you can be, like, wearing a sundress so and a sun hat. If you're really good at expression, you can wear a toga. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> this is so um, free. if you're really knowledgeable, you can wear a scholar's gown. Yeah. If, uh, you're intrigued, if you're intriguing, then you can be a cat, like, cat burglar kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you're really good at medicine, you can wear a nurse's gown. This is my favorite outfit, the nurse. If know. you're a good tactician, then... You can wear this military uniform. Yeah. If you're really agile, you can wear a tutu. <laughs> if uh, you're really good with weapons, you can wear a tabard. Huh. If uh, you're really athletic, then you can wear exercise gear. If you're really good at handling animals, then you can wear a hunt coat. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're really faithful, then you can wear a priest's robe. That's also cute. And if you're a magical girl, you can wear this magical girl outfit. Yeah. Now, I'm going to save this Perfect. as... All the outfits. Totally legit. Yeah. It's very outfits. legit. Yeah. We still legit. See? Everything's perfect. Yes. Now, what should we wear? Let's wear something um, cute, like that one. Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Okay. So cute. Come on. So it doesn't matter what we're going for anymore, since we're max mm. skills. Yeah, literally. So, uh, let's, rather than do all the things we've been doing, let's just meditate all day long. Yeah. Meditation. It's how you do it. I regret to inform you that Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Eleth, has passed away. I expect I expected that it was coming. With the control of Elith in doubt, it falls to the crown to make decisions. Young Lord Adair will not will not reach his 15th birthday for over two years. He requires a regent. His stepmother, Reese, the Duch Duchess of Lila, has petitioned that the boy be left in her care. This would, however, leave her in personal control of two neighboring duchies, which is generally forbidden. Not, not to, to mention, mention that she's closely related. She's closely related to the Duchess of Maid and the Duke of Egon. She could control almost the entire eastern half of Nova. People already call Nova's other queen. Lucia's areas almost certainly killed her second husband after she divorced him. Her son, the Earl of Low, apparently hates and fears her. And the last Duke of May died in mysterious com circumstances. Circumstances. While she was around. Which means the title of May has passed to Ares' daughter. But without proof, she could be punished. The boy does not does have a living grandfather, Earl of Ishtar, or you might appoint an unrelated noble to act in his stead. The Earl of Ishtar suggests another possibility. You and Adair are both young, not too far apart in age. He requests that you we accept the boy as your future husband and keep him here at the castle. I talked to the late Riga and Gala about what he wanted for his son's future. He said that Ernest should stay with either his stepmother or his stepsister, Adele. Adele would be less po political dangerous choice. 
He also said definitely not to give Ether to his grandfather. Okay. Um, be the dick move. To marry somebody who I don't even know. Send him to your uncle. Make his stepsister Adele regent. Or leave him with a Reese. I think the yeah. smart move is this. Yes, I would Adele. Go, yeah. Hello from the you other the side son. of Novo, Nova. <laughs> Let him stay with his family, but instead of Iris, give the Regini to Ideas that is her Adele. They grow up together and she's old enough for the responsibility. She doesn't have the title of her own and is more likely to be loyal to Elle's interests. A clever compromise. Thank you. I'm so smart. <laughs> oh, the most smart. Now. What do we do? Um, let's see. I'm, a I need to be a little bit more lonely. Yeah. Let's go be <sighs> Um. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to try some of these other options. S Actually, this is perfect. Plus two willful and plus one lonely. So this then is perfect. It. Sneak out. Yeah. You sneak out of the castle to have a little bit of fun. You enjoy your freedom, but your father won't like it if he finds out. He never finds out. And now let's change your outfit. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the tabard. Yeah. I like that one. No, I didn't mean to do that. Classes. Let's just meditate forever. Meditating, meditating. I have nothing more to learn. There's a woman here to see you. She's a musician, which is crown patronage. Which means, which means money. money. <laughs> Stop touching. Oh, he looks Royal so cool. Highness, if you accept me as a member of your court, I will immortalize you in word and song. I've dabbled in music styles from many countries and can entertain your guests and enlighten your evening. I wonder if she also write naughty poetry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Queen of Shanja was taken by a musician. Music Musician, 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 she she's will turn out to be after her crown. Not only that, but the lumen in disguise and are ruling her domain. I do don't sense any magic about this one. Musicians are often used as secret agents and messengers. They can be useful and dangerous. The musician sings a little ditty to demonstrate her skills with the lute. It's a game, but nothing special. That might mean she has other talent. You are familiar with sorry. the tradition of many locations, yes? And you also perform accent? I mum. Yes, that I can. What about jingling? Juggling. Juggling. I can keep a set of dangers in the air. Interesting. I look forward to all you have to tell me. Well, I have to talk privately. Yeah, how much she knows, but I think she might be it. You go, girl. She's really Ooh. cute. Right here. Yes. Talk to Sabine. Is that cute? Your Highness, thank you again for the opportunity. Yes. Now, what have you heard on your travels? What are those people saying about me? I haven't yet had the chance to play at many noble courts, although I intend to. Your kindness has already won the hearts of the common folk of Nova. They will follow you wherever you lead. Sorry, I've got a text. It's okay. Um, of course, with me at your side, your popularity can only increase. Never underestimate the power of music. Okay, let's change the outfit again, because every day. Yeah. Uh, let's wear the tea dress. Ah, oh, she looks so pretty. Flowers always And pretty. meditate forever. Meditation, meditation. You receive a letter from young Lord Adair. It's a bit messy and hard to read, but he seems to be thanking you for letting him stay with the family he knows. Aw, it's okay. Yeah. So cute. Okay. Um, Where is the apple teeth guy, though? I want to I be in his story. Okay, let's play some sports. Yes. We'll get a little bit of anger going. Yeah. Actually, wait. Uh, what, what causes fear? I'm not sure. Okay, this one will. Perfect. Yeah. Then let's do a little bit of sports. You take to the court for a few games of tennis. Feel the thrill of competition. I feel thrills. Alright, more meditation. I'm meditation, not going to change today, though. Meditation. While studying recent reports of trade and good shipments, you notice something interesting. The domain of Shen... 
Jia, which is now the major power on the Western continent, appears to be stepping up production. In particular, they increase their demand for wood, hemp, linen, and metal suggest they are producing new ships and new weapons. This could be the precursor to a war fleet. The Queen of Shinija has been conquered her has conquered her smaller neighbors recently. My apologies. Shinjia... My cat wanted to go out. Shinjir lies on a, a great distance from Nova. You have a few diplomatic ties and no known conflicts. There's no reason to assume that you would be their target. Still, if they sent a fleet across the ocean, Nova might be in danger. At the very least, shipping would be disrupted. And, and that would be a disaster, be a disaster to the to Nova e yeah. economy. We have to keep the shipping lines fleet. Come on, you have like every line in this city game? Yes, but it, ta it takes a moment to pop up. So I start reading and then I realize the picture has popped up. This is all internal dialogue in the end. It takes you to, uh, it takes time to assemble worthy vessels, but you have advanced warning. You can make your own preparations to defend your coast. The downside is they won't come cheap. Yeah. yeah. You send orders for the assembly of new ships and the strengthening of weaponry and uh, cladding onto the existing fleet. If trouble mm -hmm. comes, you'll be ready for it. <laughs> I'm not ready for okay. anything. <laughs> so... What would raise my pressure? Attend the ball. Apparently you tend to that. form a ball, which gives you the chance to interact with the nobility in, in a less stressful environment. I'm so thirsty. Let's be a princess now that I've gone to the ball, so That's I'm a green not outfit, wearing this to though. the ball. Nope, right. princess. Oh, princess. Never mind. Meditation. I know what I'm talking about. Meditation. See the tiny what does she hat? Wear it all the time? What a beautiful day! It's nice to stop and breathe sometimes. Want, that was I want the uneventful. God. Okay, let's explore the castle. Yeah. You wander through the parts of the castle where other people rarely visit, but find little except spiderwebs. Yeah. Yuck. After walking around in that dress, I think that needs to be cleaned. So yeah. let's wear a nurse's gown in the meantime. Oh, this is so cute. Or at least we would, but next time on Let's Play Long Live the Queen, we'll be moving on. Nothing really interesting is happening now, but some things are kind of stirring and elsewhere. So we're just going to have that stir for a while as we prepare our country, just in case somebody actually tries to mess with us. Yeah. We'll probably be okay, though, because multiple people have attempted to go after us. And will I ever yes. meet Apple Thief again? No, he's dead. I actually executed him while you were uh, letting your cast <laughs> out. You're letting your cat out just a minute ago. I actually had his head chopped off with my uh, staff. Sorry. I'm so sad. Bye.